Turntable fans, it's time for your studio update. It's a little bit later in the day, so not as many people, but yeah, I just got all excited and was doing things. So anyway, uh, guess what? I got my remoras. <gasps> oh, the remoras are done. These are so cool. I've already explained how awesome these things are uh, on another video, and these models are just absolutely fantastic. Tau Army should have two of these at least, and the Studio Tau are getting amazing. By the way, missile sides, I say yes to this configuration. This is, in fact, I'm trying to figure out how to make my, uh, my railgun broadsides into these because I just, I gotta tell you, I just, I just love these. I couldn't get enough of them. Uh, they just were, oh man, they were just absolutely outstanding. Now these guys, the problem is there's not synergy between these missile pods and this gun here. And of course if you put missile drones, then it's like, okay, well there's another non-synergy because you have strength five, strength seven, and strength eight tank busting kind of stuff going on. And it just is not consistent. But over here, you've got strength five homing, which means they can shoot without line of sight and ignores cover, awesome. And then the missile drones would be strength seven and the pods would be strength seven. And that is just, I gotta tell you guys, that is just unbeatable. Absolutely unbeatable for the points. I, I just, I love these guys. Another thing that occurred to me was that a devil fish is 80, but for 50 points more, I could get this very, very scary hammerhead. And uh, with armor 13 and this incredible gun on it, so. I don't know, that's, uh, that's a real toughie. Uh, we've got our Morkonaut hanging out here. Uh, as you guys know, LEDs are something that you can add to your project now. Uh, we did this one where it showed all the different colors, but quite frankly, like, I think this one would have looked better, you know, with all the, the if, like if they were all green, it would really add uh, something to it. And again, it's lit up inside. Um, and so that is a service we provide now, just like magnetization. Uh, definitely ask for that when you get your quote. Also, we are having a special on orcs this week. Do not pass it up. With your commission of a 2,000 point orc army, uh, you get $200 of free conversions uh, done by Mason, the master of orc conversions. So you really, you really, really, really can't pass that one up. Here is the artist's marketplace. So once a week we put all the projects out and the artists come up and uh, claim what was theirs. Uh, we are now in the process of hiring four, possibly more artists. They're very close to being completely up and running. And uh, so because this was actually, this is actually only like a third of a typical week of, of painting and these were not picked up. So uh, that's how we know where our productive capacity is and we, if we need to hire people. So uh, nobody's going away empty handed around here, that's for sure. So check these out. I don't even know what these are. They're from Forge World. Uh, our guys elongated these legs, which I think makes them look incredibly better. And um, yeah, these are cool. This is Adeptus Mechanicus. And I have to admit, I don't know much about it. I mean, I, I really need to up my game here for some of this 30K stuff. I mean, geez. So, oh yeah, we've got another one of these Leviathan Titans. You know, I could just really take you guys on the tour here. A, um, whatever it is, Legion Army with this gal. That's awesome. So, uh, all right, uh, let's, uh, let's go downstairs. Hey, how are what you? What you doing, buddy? I am finally finding the pieces we need for... Oh, for those giant yeah. tanks, right? Yep. For D-Mill? Yes, indeed. Wow, sir. dude, I should really be helping you with this. <laughs> yeah, this took, like, way too much time. All right. So we need awesome. a bits. Well, we did it. Like, yeah. one we can a just bits boy? around, yeah. That's right. Just Be like, complete. find those bits, little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you make me edit things? That's bad. Oh, no, it's... No, Chad. No. Right. Hey, Rin. Hey, what Chad. you doing? Oh, I'm putting capes on these little bastards. Oh. Dust. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. That is awesome. No, I'm, uh, I'm putting capes on uh, scouts. Okay. Because they are uh, like cool. the, Oh, please don't touch it. Those I want to touch it though. It's fresh though. Okay. Fresh gray stuff. Oh, I like it. This is a uh, very, um, very flowy. Yeah. Cause uh, like the the ones at the bolsters don't have camo cloaks, so 
Yeah. Have to put clothes you know, on. you have a disturbing amount of vegetable oil on your oh, yeah. on your desk there. Well, I, I right. use it to uh, make it so I can get the gray oh. stuff smooth. Nice. Yeah, it uh, cool. keeps your tools wet. How do you make it so that then the primer still goes? Oh, on? um, you don't get that problem with the vegetable oil. A lot of oh, people don't? use Vaseline. Okay. Um, the Vaseline you do have to wash off. Okay. The primer will stick to it. With right. The vegetable oil, you don't oh. That oh, okay. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, who votes that Ren cleans up his area? This is a little bit of an embarrassment, Ren. I would vote yes, except this except is a yeah. Then you'd be, then you'd be comp a complete <laughs> hypocrite. Exactly. Right, well, guys, this is it. This is the late shift right here. Yep. This is all they got. Well, it's all right. We should we get Mason's cool orcs anyways. up here. <laughs> what? I don't even know what <laughs> this is. Speaking protective. of embarrassments. Protective. Mason wants a piece of me now. I do. He thinks he's going to table me. Well, I think yes. All right. We so. shall see. Well, a lot of we your shall tactics see. are going to have to change, too. Oh, yeah. I'm already, I'm, already, uh, I'm already tightening it up. Okay. Yep. Like, so you got a solution for the drone Well, thing? what did we find out? We found out the drones are not scoring. Yeah. Well, there's not a solution. I just can't use well, that's them what that I mean. way. You just wouldn't. Yeah, I just use really it. Is really point the turbo? Well, turbo screening. Forward for screen. Okay. Just oh, yeah. Well, that's what I found out. Hey, guys. That's what I found out about the Tau. It's perfect. Yeah. The Tau, it's like a, I kept losing with the Eldar uh, because I wanted to bring everybody home alive. Mm. That was the problem. So with the Tau. <laughs> it's true. With the Tau, you've got to throw a unit a turn ahead. Yeah. Wow, exactly really is, for the yeah. greater good. <laughs> yep, you'd be like, you unit of fire warriors, go stand in front of that horde of bikes <laughs> and absorb the charge for one turn. That's basically it. Yeah. That's basically it. So yeah. So uh, I just have to be. I'm. I'm gonna finesse that strategy a little bit better. Right. So when are we rematch? And I don't know. I don't need I'm a date. Out. I just I'm need out. this like, week. So this, this week, week, really? Oh, definitely. Because I'm week gonna be sometime. gone next week. Okay. Well, next weekend, really. I'm going to be gone for like three days, four days. Where are you going? My mom's getting married. Remarried, Oh, actually. really? Okay. So, right? Yeah. Is this the second one? This guy seems pretty good one? so far. I haven't actually met him in person. Oh, okay. I've only talked to him on the phone and stuff, but... So, is this the second go-around? Technically a third, actually. Okay. Well, there you go. The second was uh, awesome. a real winner. I'm, uh, I'm actually... I think uh, if people got married like eight times, to me that would seem that would seem about right. That's actually. Ben Jackson's mom. I think she's been remarried six yeah. or seven. Uh, I think is what she said. Something like that. Yeah, or ben told me. All right. So anyway, so we'll see some cool stuff now. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is why I came down here. All right, Drew. Irvarna. All right. No, no, no. I, under the lamp won't work. This will work just fine. All right, folks. Behold the awesome. What up? Okay, so tell us what you did to make this happen. Okay, so what they actually have kind of a starter hole in their. Okay. Uh, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. Where you've, you've <laughs> reamed out the anal yeah. region. Where you would think there would be a hole. There is a hole. To start okay, with. got it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. you pull it out. It kind Thank of you. Angle. You don't right. want to do it straight up because right. then it would be just like I'm right. jumping straight up in the air. He wouldn't be angled. Work. Right. So got to it. give it dynamic motion and make it look like he's jumping over something. Right. Which they technically yeah, don't have jump forward. packs. And right. Verna doesn't. Right. So he just. He they just don't have jet leave. packs? No. They, they just move six. Yep. Like infantry. Yep. They move. This giant thing moves six inches. That's it. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's pathetic. So Continue. Roberto didn't know that. He was doing that in her game. He was doing jet packs? Yeah, okay. Jet pack moves with that guy. Not allowed. But uh, yeah, so. He wanted, he didn't really actually give up basing style, so we kind of took some liberty with what he was doing, and he did tell kind of a backstory of the whole army thing, which was he's fighting on a, like a Necron tier world, like near the Cadia gate type of thing, so I was like, well, I think some Necron parts would definitely fit on there, like if there's some okay. Necron, at least, presence right. there that he's fighting. Right. And uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty cool, it's just like the broken thing that just makes it look more like, like he just blew it up and now he's just like, yeah, I'm going for more type of thing. Yeah, Very this, this guy's awesome. That's what I was going for. Love this kit. Yeah. Uh, this kit comes with all the plastics you need yep. for it. It's Actually, uh, 70 sprue. British pounds currently. The one sprue to make pretty much the guy. Okay. Whereas like the regular kit comes with three. Oh, okay. Technically, because you get all of that as just like uh, separate pieces. Right. So it's kind of, and that was what kind of threw me off. I was like, I had one, it was three, and I had the one that was one. I was like, is this going to be enough? And I was like, oh yeah, I guess it is. So 
Okay, it'll, it'll shock you when you first open it. You'll be like, wait, where's the rest of the Riptide? Still it's all you don't there. need the last thing. Yeah, you don't need the okay. rest of it. That's pretty cool. Yep. All right, well, Mason, that's uh, that's really neat. As you can tell, I had a lot of fun with that guy. Okay. This other one's not too shabby either, this guy I here. say. I'll probably add some Necron parts to his base still. I haven't gotten around to that yet, right. but that's generally the pose and everything. So the head is facing the same way as the gun. Mm -hmm. I like that the shield is like folded. Yep. So that's like, that, and I noticed those little uh, wings can go at Up on at any point. Yeah. Yeah, around the wherever edge they, of the shield. Wherever they make the most sense as far as like yeah. fluid motion. It's really fantastic. Yeah. Well, I am loving it. Thanks a lot, man. Riptides are pretty fun. Demon Princes are always my favorite, but these are these are these are slowly growing on me. Yeah. Even though I'm not a fan of the tower right well, there now, you go. that's for sure. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, and, and and that that is how you're gonna have to play Tau now, I think, is Mobile. go up and yeah, you're gonna have to just throw stuff. So the question is, what is what is the thing that could be that would be the best at like blunting a charge or whatever, you know? I I don't know. What what can get up Strictly midfield? For talent, talking about? Yeah, what can get up midfield? No 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 no, because they're not they're not good at close combat anymore. They're a great. They've got weapon skill four. Ball. Otherwise they're, uh, they're, they're cheap, a guardsman. Right? Yeah. They're cheap though. They're right. right. They're, they're cheap. six points each. Yeah. Right. That's All right. Cheap. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know. I just I don't want to I don't want to have crew and, uh, in my army. Give them acute senses so they come on where you want them to. Mm, yeah. What? Outflanking. Yep, yep, that's attack. Hold on a second. So what is this again? What is uh, the sorcery of which you speak? Uh, crew can take the uh, crew hounds to go with the uh, the unit there and uh, it gives So them they have uh, acute senses. Acute senses and then they have outflank so they can okay. come on pretty much They can where choose you where they want to go. Okay. Well, you get a better than, you know, 50-50. You, you re-roll. Re okay. So, right. yeah, they'll just come on and be in someone's face. So, okay. First off, what oh, is yeah. this? Uh, something I doodled in my hotel room last night. Okay. Fantastic. Little Pinkie Pie action there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get into a uh, competition Dude, with awesome. Roberto for the biggest brony in the studio. So. Yeah. <laughs> really? Wow. I don't know if I want that one. The yeah. challenge has been issued. <laughs> oh, it's happening! <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. So you guys finished a project today. Yes, we did. Some war machine. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. So okay, off, great. So Storm Guard and a couple of... A couple right. Kadoran uh, unit attachment and a so, uh, so what's next? Uh, we're going to do these uh, flashpoint uh, fireman miniatures for this oh, okay. right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, for a board. Oh, let me see. Extreme. It's funny because you look at this. This looks all serious, right? Mm -hmm. But you look at the little miniatures, and they're very cartoon-esque. Very. You know? Oh, you know what game I like is Pandemic. It's a board oh, game. Yeah. Have, you, have you tried that before? Oh, yeah. Right? Wasn't that the best? We need to have that. Yeah, we're gonna get Pandemic. That was a great, it's a great game. Warhammer Hero Quest, that was great. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That was a good old school game. I used to play that back in the day. We were kids good before times. I found out about Warhammer. I was like, what's this? They had all the, remember the board? It had all the like little stand up oh. shelves and chairs. I, I and remember. Stuff. I still have great the shelves. Really? Do you? Wow. Those are great terrain. Yeah, they're pieces. worth something now. All right. Well, folks, that's all you get. I think that ought to tide you over till tomorrow. More stuff coming through. Some Spesmarins. And, oh, some Wood Elves. Oh, look at these streaming. I love this. What a great army, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Sis these are called Sisters of the Thorn. And they are so cool. What up? Yeah, those make me happy. All right. Yep, these are pretty cool. I guess I'd say five to ten projects a day. Uh, um, do what I call advancing, which means they move, you know, from the marketplace to the assembler, or they move from assembly to, to painting. Well, anyway, that's our studio update. Uh, thanks for tuning in.